To make a copy on your Xerox device, tap your badge onto the card reader until it turns green. Your name will populate in the top right corner and all of your applications will be available to you. Now you can take your document and slide it into the document feeder. You want to ensure that the guides are snug against the paper. This is incredibly important. Now select your copy application and simply click start. The only reason that you'd want to put your document in landscape orientation is if you have landscape paper loaded in the trays below. Again, you'd want to make sure that the guides are snug on the paper. Now to dive a little deeper, we can select the copy application. This device specifically allows us the option of both black and white in color. Everything in blue indicates the defaults. So I'm going to select auto detect if I would like a color copy. Paper supply gives you a little bit more information about your specific paper. If you select more, it'll give you your paper inventory, the trays, the percentage full, the paper type, and the paper size. You can select the type of paper you'd like to copy on and click OK. In sided copying, you have your single-sided output, double-sided, one to two, meaning that you have two singles and you want to put it onto a double, or two to one, meaning that you start out with a double and you want to put it on two singles. You also have finishing options, which will vary based on, on the device. Just select the finishing option that works best for you. In the case that you click on a few options and you want to go back to default, select the clear all button and it'll jump everything back to what it's defaulted to. In the case that you do this, and you put in your copy amount using the keyboard to the right, which populates at the top right corner, you can use the C to just cancel out the number and not all the other defaults. Lastly, we have the reduce and enlarge feature, which allows you to move from one paper size to another. Here are some of the Xerox presets that have been predetermined. You can use these and click OK, or you can just put in the percentage you'd like it to be reduced or enlarged by. For example, 120%, and then just manually select the paper size that you'd like it to be forced on.